Hello, I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs or if you want to support this channel or for personals. The information is in the description box below. Okay, this message is for all of my Taurus, all of my Taurus. All right, all right, all right. Holy Father, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Yes, yes, yes. For all of my Taurus. Let's see what's going on here with all of my Taurus. So definitely, anytime Spirit tells me to light my sage, I know that that's a sign that you need to cleanse your energy. There's somebody in your energy that you may have been feeling drained recently, tired. You may have been feeling like you're, you're just feeling lazy, right? So there's definitely somebody in your energy field that doesn't need to be there, <laughs> period. Somebody that's draining you. I don't know if it's somebody at work. I don't know if it's somebody in your family, a friend, or somebody you think is your friend. But let's see. We're going to get some more on that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, a leg up. Okay, so this could definitely be somebody that was trying to be deceitful to you in the past, trying to act like they had it all but don't. Time for a nap. So, yeah, definitely you've been feeling tired. You've been feeling very tired and drained lately. Then we have um, flexible and chop wood. So this person made you think that they were going to bend and they were going to work with you. And they were acting like they were working hard on themselves, but it was the false mask. Okay. Time to go. You're realizing that you need to walk away from the situation, run away from the situation to go ahead and start to receive your blessings. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what angels, what angels you can call out to to help you. Okay, I'm going to say them all. Archangel, I was going to put some back because this is a lot, but then Spirit was like, no. Somebody needs to hear all of this. So Archangel um, Hanel, which is also grace of God. If you need some help with your intuition or to trust your inner guidance, call out to Archangel Hanel for assistance. Archangel Razel, secrets of God. Um, if you need help with just, you know, staying in your purpose, um, healing painful memories, um, to help remember the last, le you know, past lessons from past lives that you've learned and, you know, to help you to go ahead and remember this so you don't have to repeat those same karmic cycles over and over so you can get out of this karmic cycle. Archangel Michael for, um, protection. Archangel Ragel for... You know, if you're going through any type of family feuds, um, trying to gain fairness, orderliness, trying to forgive, trying to heal and misunderstandings. And I go further in depth. So if you want more, I'm just giving the main help. But if you want more, there's other, if you look back, it'll go down where I break it down. Okay, then we have Archangel Sandifon. Well, if you need, um, also known as highest, um, the highest of angels twin. If you need... Um, help with, you know, feeling the divine. If you're a magician and you've been having a block lately, um, if you're trying to get closer to God and your spirituality, Archangel Jeremiel, understanding spiritual visions and clairvoyance, Archangel Azrael, loss, transition, help to give you uh, a gentle healing with that, right? Um, Archangel Metra Metatron, um, understanding youth, if you need help with healing, clearing lower energies. So definitely clearing lower energies, Archangel Metatron. You need to definitely go ahead and reach out to this one. But all of them, all of them have a reason that, that I'm, you know, all of them you can take something from. And then we have Archangel Uriel. Thank you to one of my subscribers, um, Jimmy Swagger, that helped me with pronunciation of that. And then that's for testing. Um, if you need help with testing, if you need help with a sudden, you know, a sudden solution to a problem. All right, all right, all right. So definitely, 
Just use your discernment, right? I was going to use these, but I'm not. Okay, just use your discernment, Taurus. Use your discernment. Exposed. Okay. So soon. They're going to be exposed. This person is going to be exposed very soon. They playing. They playing. It could have been something that happened the last summer. Summer that just passed. Summer, you know, somebody that you connected with or, you know, stopped connecting with the past summer. Take me as I am or nothing at all. So this person was trying to give you crumbs and bits and pieces. And they, they, they made it seem like they were the love of your life. Like, it was like, yes, yes, yes. Like, everything, right? But, like, they were your true love. Like, they were going to change for you. Like, um, all of this, right? But there's some fake family. There could be children involved. So this could definitely be, like, a, a, a frenemy, right? A frenemy, a loved one, significant other. Take it how it resonates. But I'm really feeling like this is a, I don't know. I was going to say a friend of me, but take it how it resonates. However it resonates with you. However it resonates with you. Listen to your intuition. So you've already been getting into a nut, intuitive nudges about this that you can't trust this person. Okay, let's go ahead and like, this is unusual for me, right? This is unusual for me. The, um be so far into the message they didn't even start the tarot okay anyway so we're gonna go ahead and get into the tarot let's put some tarot on it all right y'all so then we have the ace of cups and the in the um the knight of cups right so it's like you're you're finding a new beginning you're being very compassionate it was like there was it was a lot of like i'm so deeply like this person is like my person it was like that. It was feelings of that. But it's deceitfulness, right? Eight of Swords. So, yeah, there's been a lot of self-imposed things. Like, a lot of shit that you've been seeing, but you ain't want to see. Does that make sense? You've been seeing shit, but you ain't want to see it. <laughs> I need to go ahead and make me a little uh, saying thing for that meme, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, we have the Magician as well as the Ten of Wands. So it's like, and then as well as the um, the two of swords, and the emperor and the ten of cups. So it, it was like you felt like you were manifesting something, but it, then it was like a lot of responsibilities that you didn't ask for. You you were working very hard on this, but it's like this person continued to withdraw from you. They continued to think, worry about what other people were thinking, right? And it was always like they were trying to be stable, but they were like in this emperor stable successful type of way but they were also like in an old way of thinking right they were in an old way of thinking then we have the two of swords so it's like a lot of difficult choices a lot of indecision this person could never make up their damn mind it's like they will say one thing just to make you be happy make you be okay make you like make so they could get what the fuck they want right so they could pretend like it was gonna be this ten of cups situation right that's it right And it was just a whole bunch of distractions. It was a whole bunch of distractions, a whole bunch of like blase, blase. Okay, is this dead close? No. Okay, yeah, but I do see fast movement. I see unexpected um, news, right? I see fast movement and unexpected news because, you know, there's been a lot of slowness here and, and there's been a lot of shit that you were failing to realize. But I do see that you're learning a lot. You're learning a lot. And you're a born leader. We have the King of Wands. You're very ambitious. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're being consistent and getting mental clarity and seeking a lot and, and, and learning and growing. And, and from that, it's you're the motherfucking star, right? You're shining. You're shining brightly. So it's definitely going to be some calmness after a difficult phase um, because you are going towards positive changes and healing and following your aspirations. So continue to be optimistic. Because what's for you is always going to be for you. Period. Right? All right, all right, all right. So this person is definitely going to be exposed that they've been playing and that you're the real motherfucking star, right? You the real motherfucking star. You don't got no time for no bullshit. You don't got time for none of that shit. And you just worried about you. Okay, Taurus, do what you do. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. And if you want to donate to this channel, the information is in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.